So now the next input element is the select. So we use the select as the drop downs inside the material UI and in the HTML and they uses a menu list to select a drop down item. So the select tag is used to create a drop down list and select one of them. So we can see the properties like we have a default value property. So the by default selected value will be there. And then we have the additional properties like the on change. We have the disabled. We have the SX for this styling, etc. So we can just move on to the material UI and then we can just move and then we can just search for the select. So now you can see we have the select element. Now you can see we have the basic select with the age and then we have the 10, 20, 30 and then we have some standard variants of this select and then we have the outline variant we have the field variants and all so we can just move and then we can just select the basic select element from there so because it is looking good and it is very simple to use so now you can see this is the code so we have the form control so form control is used to control a form elements inside that so we have the input elements and then we have the input label inside the form and then we have the menu items that we have discussed in the ppt so these are things inside the checkboxes so these are the things inside the select drop downs so we can just copy that and i will explain you from the scratch so we can just copy and then we can just move on to the visual studio code and after the form group is given so we can just add here the select so now you can see we have given the form control so we can just import the form control from there as well the form control is now imported and now you can see we have the input label so input label is just a label for the inputs so we can just remove this id from there also because we don't need this id so we can just remove that and now you can see we can just move on and then we can just remove this label id and the id for the select also so, so the select is here to select any input element and these are the menu items to select so the menu item is here which are available inside the selects like this we have the 10 we have the 20 we have the 30 so these are the menu items so we can just select all of them and then we have given the value so the value we have given to the age but we haven't defined any age value but if we define the value equals to the 10 so it will select this value from there so for the which menu item the value equals to the 10 it will match the value and it will just select this value from there so if i will now save if i will now move on to the application once again we have the react app now you can see the default value which is selected is the 10 so now you can see the drop down has selected the 10 value but if i will not just select the 20 now you can see the selected value is the 10 and now the state is not updating or so the value is now the static value which is the 10 so now we can just handle the state also of the select element so for that we can just remove the value the hard coded value from there as the 10 and then we can just move on and then we can just add a new state as the age so the age value by default will be equals to the zero so now we have defined the age and now we can just move on to the select value and then we can give the value of the inputs dot it will be the age so now we have given the value equals to the age and now you can see we have the value equals to the 10 we have the 20 we have the 30 so the age of the zero is not available inside the menu item so it will be undefined so the checkbox will not be selected so for that if i will now save and if i will now move on to the application once again now we can just close it now you can see now we have the age and now you can see we have the 10 we have the 20 we have the 30 and now you can see no any value is selected inside the age and now we need to handle the state also for that so to handle the state we are already handling the state inside the handle change function so we can just move on and then we can just define a name property here as the age so now the age will automatically handle with the handle change function as we are now getting the value and then we are setting the value of the e dot target dot value so if i will now save it if i will now move on to the application once again if i will now move on to the inspect once again to check if everything is working we can now just move on and then we can just now refresh the page and now we can just provide a name like the nickel we have given the email we have the password we have the subscribe and then we can give the value as the 30 so if i will now click on this submit now you can see in the object now you can see we have the name property and then we have the age equals to the 30 and now you can see the value is now 30 and the, and if the value will be equals to the 20 we can submit now you can see the age equals to the 20 value and then if i will now just select the value equals to the 30 now you can see the value equals to the 30 so everything is working fine and now this is how we handle the state of the select element inside the material ui so we give the value equals to the inputs dot h and we define the value of the input so this is how we handle the state of the select and we define the menu items also so now we can move on to the next input element to handle the form